congratulations on the purchase of your Bevel Buddy Chipper Knife Sharpening Device. We are confident it will quickly become a valuable tool that will enable you not only to save on knife sharpening and replacement costs, but also increase your production and equipment fuel efficiency. Bevel Buddy adds value to your operation by allowing you to put a fresh bevel on the back side of stationary disc or drum chipper knives at least three times before removing the knives for sharpening. This video will instruct you on how the bevel buddy works, how to use it, how to index the abrasive, and how to perform proper maintenance. But before we begin, it is important to note that personal protection equipment, including a hard hat, eye and ear protection, work gloves, and non-slip steel toe work boots should be worn by the operator at all times during the sharpening process. Always refer to the chipper operator's manual for complete safety and operating instructions. To begin the process of sharpening your knives with the bevel buddy, first make sure the disc or drum has come to a complete stop. Caution: Never open a disc or drum chipper hood while it is still moving. Serious injury or death could occur. Once the operator is sure all moving parts have come to a complete stop, he will then perform the lockout tagout procedure to ensure no one accidentally starts the machine while maintenance is being performed. First, unplug any safety hood switches and remove pins to open the chipper hood door. Next, inspect the chipper knives and look for loose bolts, cracks, and wood packed beneath the knives. If knives are determined to be in good condition, you are now ready to use your bevel buddy sharpener. When using the bevel buddy, you must always counter grind or back bevel on the side of the knife that the material discharges from only. Never attempt to sharpen the feed side of the knife. In addition, during the sharpening process, avoid breathing in the grinding dust. To begin using the bevel buddy, make sure the proper abrasive for the task is applied. Pocket mounted knives for a disc style chipper, drum style chipper knives, and face mounted style knives will use the drum style abrasive. Plywood lathe knife setup, pole peeler, or some small chipper knife setup use the cone style abrasive. If operating a battery powered unit, continue by inserting the battery into the bevel buddy. We recommend removing the battery when not in use. Next, make sure the bevel buddy unit is set at the lowest speed setting. Turn it on, then turn it up all the way to the highest speed setting. Place the bevel buddy spring loaded head on the knife and position it about an inch from the right side of the knife. Never force the bevel buddy into a work area, always ease into knife sharpening. With a steady motion and very little pressure, slide the bevel buddy across the knife from right to left. Then go back to the start position and with the same steady motion and pressure, slide from left to right. Always use the bevel buddy so that you are moving the sharpener against the direction of the rotation of the grinding wheel. The counter ground path on the back of the knife should be approximately 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch wide. Continue this process on all knives until complete. For disc style chipper knives, keep the rollers of the bevel buddy spring loaded head flat on the front angled side of the knife. Move the bevel buddy along the whole length of the knife's edge to the left. Reposition the bevel buddy where you originally started on the knife and move it to the right to finish sharpening the entire knife. When sharpening is complete, turn the unit down to the slowest setting and then turn it off. If using a battery powered unit, remove the battery. Finally, place all components back into the storage case. Close your chipper hood door and replace all hood pins and safety switches, making sure they are securely attached before chipping resumes. Finally, remove the lockout tag out and your chipper is ready for use. It is recommended that the knives in the chipper be sharpened no more than three times before removing them to be sharpened in your stationary grinder or reversed on a turn knife system. Proper care and maintenance of the bevel buddy sharpener. As far as maintenance, keeping your bevel buddy in good working condition requires that you use compressed air to blow grinding dust and shavings out of the head after each use. Abrasive index procedure. The only adjustment you have on this is what we call indexing your abrasive. Your abrasive is going to wear back on the back section where your knife contacts it. When that abrasive wears off, all you have to do is loosen the little red thumb screw, hold the grinding head and turn the motor back half a turn. Tighten the thumb screw back down. 
This will give you a new area for your knife to make contact with the sharpening abrasive. You can do that indexing a total of three to four times per abrasive. When your abrasive is completely worn out, you simply loosen the thumb screw and remove the universal grinding head. Hold the lock button, remove the abrasive, and discard it. Replace it with a new abrasive. Tighten up the red thumb screw, and you're ready to go. For replacement abrasives, contact the Moorbark dealer in your area. To find a dealer in your area, go to www.moorbark.com slash find a dash dealer. After you've had time to use your bevel buddy, we'd welcome the opportunity to hear from you. Please submit any stories, comments, or suggestions you would like to make to customercare at moorbark.com. Once again, congratulations on choosing Bevel Buddy to help you make chipping more profitable.